Generally speaking, this is a very aggressive type of tumor that affects very young people, African-American people with a sickle cell trait. So normally they develop this type of cancer in their 20s or 30s. Um, and before they develop cancer, they are very, they, they were normally very healthy. So, uh, but they all die within about two years, unfortunately. So uh, we did uh, quite some research in this field. So we try to sequence this uh, uh, renal medullary carcinoma tumors to figure out potential mutations for, for this type of cancer. We also study gene expression in this type of tumor. Uh, so we ident identified a few potential targets uh, that are being currently being uh, confirmed in the lab to see whether we can develop new therapies for this type of cancer. We don't have any trials yet. Uh, so basically we want to study the biology of this type of cancer. And also we want to study a few you know, potential drugs that may be used for this type of cancer. Once we confirm it in cell lines and uh, hopefully in animal model as well, and then we can proceed to a clinical trial in the future. So if you ask me a timeline, I would say maybe within you know, two to three years, hopefully we can you know, produce some meaningful results uh, that will guide future clinical trials. Yeah, this is a, a pretty fast moving field. So I think the future is very bright for people with kidney cancer. Uh, to give you an example, before uh, eight years ago, we had only one therapy for people with metastatic kidney cancer. That's high dose IL-2. But within the last eight years, we have seven new agents for kidney cancer. Moving forward, we have seen lots of activities in this novel uh, immune checkpoint blockade agents known as anti-PD-1 and anti-CTOF4. So far, you know, the early phase clinical studies actually showed quite significant clinical activities of these agents in people with uh, the most common type of kidney cancer. It's called uh, clear cell renal cell carcinoma. So, um, uh, you know, right now there, there is one phase three study that's already finished, and uh, there is another phase three study which is going to be open very soon. So I think within, likely within the next year or so, we, uh, we might have another new drug for, um, for kidney cancer. Uh, as far as for the rare types of kidney cancer, including renal medullary carcinoma, so these drugs have not been tested on yet. However, I wouldn't be surprised in the near future, you know, we can test this new immun immunotherapy drugs on rare kidney cancer, and hopefully they can uh, benefit this rare kidney cancer patients as well.